Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays Wild Mage, where I am here at Winwood Hall, where we are trying to find a spell to wake up Lord Arden. Now, I've been collecting all the ingredients I need, but the last thing I need is Lord Arden's true name. I was wondering if you could tell me anything about that. Lord Arden's condition seems to be worsening. He tosses and turns as if working through some terrible nightmare. If you have the loot and the series, then all you need is his true name. <laughs> but unfortunately, I'm not privy to that information. He never confided in me in that detail. Do you know who might know the name? I can't think of many fae uh, who the Lord would trust so readily unless the knowledge was somehow taken by force. Although the nosy apothecary of his might have gotten hold of the information from somewhere, she has a habit of somehow knowing more than you'd hope. Sargon yawns and exaggerated and blinks. <gasps> oh, where was I? <gasps> Ah, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, the apothecary. Wait, hey, I'm getting sleepy. <sighs> now, where was I? Ah, oh, I'm supposed to speak with Melody, the apothecary. You awake from your unexpected slumber. At first, things seem as before. You're still at Winwood Hall, and Melody is still standing beside the bed. Then you realize that Lord Arden is missing, and so are the flower and the loot you need for the ritual. Uh. With the loot and the flower missing, the only clue you have is to speak with Melody, the apothecary. Perhaps she can explain this strange turn of events. With the loot and the flower missing, the only clue you have is to speak with Melody, the apothecary. Perhaps she can explain this strange turn of events. Yes, how about, you know anything about the strange turn of events? I'm surprised you're still able to walk around, though a coherent conversation has yet to be seen. I was going to ask if you knew of Lord Arden's true name and help awaken him, but it's pretty clear that you're not here to help. What did you do with Lord Arden? Hmm? Melody begins speaking in a familiar voice. Lord Arden's true name? Of course I know it. But it's for me to know and for you to never get. <laughs> now, be a good adventurer and die to monsters in the wilderness while I go make sure Lord Arden never, ever wakes up. <laughs> she cackles as she teleports away. Wonderful. Well, I suppose running into the third... You see creatures milling around near the gate to Winwood Hall. Then you notice that things seem... different. This isn't the Feywild. You are trapped inside a dream. Wonderful. But it appears that I have found the third of the hags. I hope that means that we're not going to have to deal with any more of you them. You approach a shadowy form that appears to be Lord Arden, reading a note with a worried expression on his face. The what? figure doesn't notice your presence. Are you positive? Of course you are. You wouldn't lie about this. Lord Arden takes a deep breath before speaking again. The Prince of Frost sent an armed force and, and captured several hamlets before p proclaiming of his territory. How can I fight back? Can I ever fight back? The shadowy Lord Arden fades into nothing. Based on his appearance and your uncanny surroundings, you guess that you must be inside the Lord's nightmare. Wonderful. Alright, I guess we'll break a few gargoyles as we go along. Hello! Another bash. Another bash. I don't know why that hag is expecting us to die from the monsters in the wilderness. I mean, it's not exactly like... They've had an easy time killing me already. Uh, 
I mean, I've already defeated two of them. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. Just breaking things. Oh. Okay, there we go. All sorts of wild surges. Oh, pumpkin head. I thought it was going to be something useful. No, pumpkin head. Pumpkin heads aren't very useful. I was going to say the very opposite of it, but I have seen worse things happen. Hold on, I hear something. There you go. Oh, million range bonus? Okay, I'll take that one. Whoops. Boom. And more gargoyles. You spot movement underneath the bridge. Moving closer, you see a nasty looking troll guarding the missing loot. A troll under the bridge. What a shock. All right, well, let's see. Oh. So it's a troll bridge. Okay. And. Go. There you go. Oh, hold on. What was that sound? A barrel. Well, as long as it's the gem variety of barrels. Okay, now. Here, here's the loot stealer. Bits of troll and drops of its blood splash into the river as the battle progresses. The bits grow rapidly into new bridge trolls that join the fight. Wonderful. Oh. For a moment there, I thought it was going to turn into the Hydra You've recovered of trolls. Hearsome's loot for the ritual. A Hydra troll. All right. This... Lake's a little bit on the surrealistic side. All right, now. Uh, or maybe fantastical is a better word for it. All right, so we'll hit into that. And now for the other side. And find the... See, okay, I have the loot now. And we. Yeah, I can't remember what the second item is. I went through so much trouble to find it. You would think that I remember it. Inside the magically sealed gazebo ahead floats the frosted cerise you need for the ritual. Oh, yes, the cerise! Three bears rest outside. I certainly. Talking bears, no doubt. This is the Feywild, after all. There you go. Ah. All right. We've taken care of that. Oh. Yeah, we've got that. We've got that. And now the cerise. You've recovered the frosted cerise for the ritual. You've recovered both the loot and the frosted cerise. No. Where has Melody hidden Lord Arden? You notice a pillar of magical energy streaming from a distant portal. Perhaps that contains the secret. Well, we're going to find out. That's the only clue we've got. Meanwhile, break a few more gargoyles. If I'm going in the right direction. You said I noticed a portal up there. Well, there are enemies this way, so it must be the right way, correct? Well, either that or to a... To some sort of... Optional or something like that. Or a red herring. I 
if he said, okay, you see, you, you've you recovered both the new and rent energy streams from a distant portal, perhaps. A pillar of magical energy. The problem is I don't see a pillar of magical energy. Oh, hold on. Yes, now that looks like a pillar of magical energy. Okay, I just didn't notice it before. Oh, more gargoyles. Oh, okay. Looks like I'm creating some mischief now. You approach the portal grow, but a pixie flutters into your path. She said to make sure you didn't make it to her. I won't let you get near them. I won't let him wake up. The pixie smirks. You won't get past my friends and me. So long as they are alive, their devotion will sustain me eternally. Right. Oh, 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 there's another one there. A portal opens as the pixie collapses. In his last moments, he says, <coughs> You haven't won yet. <coughs> you still need the true name. Ah, <sighs> well, there is a point to that. Well, let's go inside. You exit the portal and find yourself in a strange, empty void. Yet, that appears to be Lord Arden's resting place ahead. Between you and Lord Arden stands Cadence the Hag. She must have been disguised as Melody the Apothecary the entire time. Well, Cadence prepares for battle. Thrice damned adventurer, never know when to quit. I should have seen that you can't trust the pixie to do a hag's work. Cadence finishes her conjuration. Slimes emanating a frigid mist suddenly appear nearby. You killed my sister, so I'll have to make do with these vile cauldron leftovers. I wouldn't go anywhere near them personally now. <laughs> Be a dear and die for good this time. Uh, I think I'll avoid doing that. If you don't mind. There you go. Another one. Weakened and battered, Cadence tries to surrender. All right, all right. That's enough. You need what I have. So then, let's make a deal. Wait, let's make a deal. My life for the true name. You want me to spare you? Well, simply give me the true name isn't going to be enough to balance the scales, right? Make it worth my while and I'll consider it. Oh, fine, fine. I'll give you access to Lord Arden. Let you wake back up once again you're done here and leave you alone for as long while so that you can finish what you need to. That should be enough. Almost. Uh, say please and I'll consider the deal done. Darn adventurers! I won't forget this! Oh, please, will you spare me? Okay, contract is sealed. You've reluctantly decided to allow Cadence to live in exchange for Lord Arden's true name. Okay. So now, begin ritual to wake up Lord Arden. Oh, we've got... Alright, in my... Th let's see, I have... Defeat groups of mobs in there, learn Lord Arden's worry... Okay, begin ritual to wake up Lord Arden. Lord Arden rests here, the same as every time that you've seen him. Unmoving, silent, almost corpse-like. Now that you have all the ritual components, you can begin the process of working, waking him up. I'm sure doing the ritual here would work just as well as it would while awake. Let's get started. You lay out the ingredients for the ritual, 
and repeat the steps to reverse the curse. First, play the lute. Then, grind up the flower's roots. Last, burn the roots along with Lord Arden's true name. All right, an, an Archfey's lute? You play a brief melody on Hearsome's lute. And here we have the series. Grind up the roots to a powder. You mash the flower's roots into a pulp with little effort. And now burn it with the true name. All right. You set a small blaze, then drop the crushed roots and Lord Arden's true name into it, completing the ritual. As the smoke rises, Lord Arden's eyes open. He springs out of the bed. Ah, free at last from that cursed sleep. Thank you, adventurer, for breaking the curse on me and saving me from an everlasting nightmare. Thank you very much. I'm more than glad to assist. Lord Arden thanks you for awakening him from this curse. He urges you to speak with him back at Winwood Hall in the waking world. All right. Then let's wait. Uh, I suppose it's too much to ask for there to be a treasure here. Yeah, I thought so. Well, that's the problem about, about being a, asleep and awake and all that. Ah, uh, good. It's nice to see that Lord Arden is now awake and no longer in the bed. I think that's a successful operation. It is certainly good to be awake. We were talking and then I felt myself sleeping off in a terrible dream. But Lord Arden told me what went on inside the nightmare. He'll want to speak with you when we've finished up here. All right, I'll go check on him. Ooh, what do we get here? Oh, hardy robe of cold resistance. Magical resistance scepter of combat mastery. Hmm. Combat mastery? Not exactly what you call the number one thing that you have as a sorcerer. And then a heavy mace of radiance. Hmm. Right. Well, what Lord Arden have to say? Ah, Pine Leaf, thank you for waking me. That was my first experience in sleep. I must say that I prefer meditation. I do not care, not care, for what dreams that have come with sleep. Oh, why did here some place this curse upon you? What was he trying to accomplish? Ah, the short of it is that I caught here some causing mischief and he put me to sleep to keep me from telling the others what I have learned. To elaborate, I have learned that here some has stolen those codex pages that you seek. Naturally, I didn't want such evil anywhere within the Wormwood Hall. Yet, when I confronted the Prince of Satyrs oh, with his foolish act, he put me to sleep and told me, my court, some lies about the reason. I don't know what the Prince of Satyrs wants with the Codex page, but I'm sure that he is up to no good. I have asked um, Hawthorne, my oldest advisor, to look into the matter. All right, I will talk to Hawthorne. And then continue along the next stage of the adventures here in the Wildwood. Before we go, I see that I have a few more enhancement points that I need to spend. And let's see what we got here. We have here, anything useful here? Ah, lucky dodge. We can improve my dodge. And that unlocks the next tier of things over here. We have unpredictable consequences. Your Chaos Bolt, Action Sphere, and Chaos Hammer, and Channel Entropy spells and SLAs now add additional damage, debuff, or crowd control effects when cast. If the target saves were half damage, the additional effects are negated. Hmm, well, 
we might as well try that. And we also have one more point that we could spend if we want to. Hmm. Prismatic Mind. Color Well, no, I don't have Color Spray, so I guess we don't have to worry about that. Suiting Chaos 3, plus 1% for Encouraging Wild. Surge, Wind Casting Spells. Well, I will just toss that in. Accept that. And we'll continue on with our adventures with that little boost and see if that has any effect. Or even if I notice it. We'll find that out in the next episode of Piney Plays The Wild Mage.